Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel! Welcome back! We're back with another Love Is series. That's right. Yeah. So, we've been on this journey just trying to discover love. Is it a feeling? Yeah, is it an emotion? emotion? But what we've done is we're trying to break down the different characteristics of love yep. that we've experienced within our relationship. Yeah. So today, we are looking at Love Is Kind. kind. That's right. So I remember when I was at university, like, I really remember how kind Annabella was. Oh, like, okay. I remember, we'll be studying, okay, you know, like, even like the day before an exam or something like that, we'll be studying, and someone will just walk over and be like, oh, Anna, can I have a word? It was like she was like the school counsel. So even though she had the exam like the next day, she'll go out of her way to actually be there for her friend. And gave the proper tell me off, that, like, what are you doing? Man. Your priorities are wrong. If anybody came to me for the exam, I'm like, yeah. I don't know you. I'm surprised I even got a word from him myself, <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, she was so kind, she was there for her friends, she was very sacrificial, and I just saw this across her whole life. Like, she loved her missionary trips. Annabella was always so optimistic, she never spoke a bad word about anybody. She was always encouraging and always spoke um, the best of people, and I just thought, wow, like, you know, go get me some of that, you know? <laughs> like, I was like, this girl is too kind to let go. <laughs> Thanks, babe, that was nice. I love a bit of words. Don't touch a bit. <laughs> but anyway, he's so kind as well, but in obviously different ways, because you know we're completely opposite. Um, his kindness was just expressed, like, before we even got together, this guy, firstly, he was stalking me. And no, no, I was observing. <laughs> he was stalking me. But, you know, when we're texting and stuff, I'd be like, oh, I'm not coming to uni today because I'm not feeling well. He'd come to my house with fresh orange juice, with bits. Everyone knows I love fresh oranges with bits. With popcorn, my second fave. Um, actually, joint first fave. Anyway, <laughs> but um, it was just so nice. He'd come, drop it off, and then and he'd go like there was no expectation for anything he didn't want to hang around it was just like i've dropped this stuff off for you and get well soon he'd be checking up on me he always walks on the outside of the road he'd always pay for stuff like i was just like is this guy real and obviously having been in like you know <laughs> difficult <laughs> relationships in the past meeting games and noticing that someone's actually so kind from the heart yeah, that just really showed me that Gabe's was a kind person and sometimes we really do take kindness for granted we don't realize how important it is yeah you actually have to be able to distinguish between kindness and charm oh, yeah. kindness actually comes from the heart mm. whereas charm is like the power or the ability to kind of lure someone in so it's almost like someone is wearing a mask mm. from the, at the beginning just to get you in mm. and then they reveal the mask and boy mm. That's why it's so important to look at how someone treats everyone. Yeah. I know Gabriel Gabe's was treating me well and I was treating him well. And that's kind of it's easy. It's easy yeah. to just be treat the, the per if obviously when you like someone, you're gonna be really intentional, mm. really trying to be nice to them. But what is also important is looking at how they treat other people. Yeah. How they treat their family, yep. how they treat their friends, how they even treat people who don't actually even owe them anything. Yeah. Are they still as kind to them as they are to you? Mm. That's where that's how you see whether the person has a kind heart or whether they're just trying to be charming yeah. just to get you um, to be their partner yeah because in a relationship you could be very blind love is blind As well. <laughs> like seriously like, I think Gabe is the most amazing guy no, that's true though isn't yeah, it? yeah no you actually are the most amazing guy yeah, thanks. but then obviously from the outside people be you know seeing different things in your partner but you just don't see that you're just like no he's amazing you just get defensive so before you even get with someone you need to observe how they treat other people how they treat their family friends yeah. people that they know and don't know so now I understand why Gabe's actually stalking me because yeah. <laughs> because imagine like yeah. if the person's um, personality is not consistent oh, like geez. you know imagine you actually don't know who you have mm. you could have them really nice to you but mean to everyone else yeah. and then when you get married boom mask off yeah and then they're mean to you or you could have the opposite where they're um, nice to everyone on the outside but they're mean to you nobody wants to go yeah. home to an environment where they're not treated with kindness mm. and I think the six months that Gabe and I spent really getting to know each other properly beforehand and actually it's like a screening process but <laughs> yeah. in a fun yeah, way guys passed, of course, like, yeah, like, mm, mm, mm. No, 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 no. but um, even in that process it was very important for us to check fruits and really see what the heart was about that person because now in marriage if Gabe's is maybe makes a mistake or is not as kind to someone on an off day or whatever it is because I know his heart and I know the person that he truly is I can forgive that yeah but, you can see past yeah you can it. actually see past those things so um we really realized that kindness is a it's, it's, it's just kindness is actually really important because mm. 
you want to go home to an environment that is safe you yeah. know that the person who's with you is kind mm. and it just makes the household a lot more fun imagine if you're on edge because you just don't know when the person's gonna just jump yeah. on you yeah. like it actually changes the dynamics of the household a lot yeah so we just wanted to talk about love it was a quick one this one because we all know what kindness means but sometimes yeah. when we're um looking for a relationship we start forgetting yeah. what kindness truly is and kindness is really just being sacrificial being able to think about others over yourself and just um loving people from the inside out yeah. and i think that's something that we really need to take more seriously as human yeah. beings and really just try to be a kind person because yeah, right. in your relationships it will overflow into that it will overflow into everything that you do yeah so rather than looking for the biggest flirt who is really nice to you whisper sweet nothing mm. in your ears the girl who's trying to finesse you because she wants to jump in your car that's or so for you to buy her um two pound chicken and chips yeah. like just be just remember to look at the heart of the person to really see whether they're kind mm. so yeah guys we just want to talk about love a characteristic of love being kindness, kindness. <laughs> yeah kindness and um yeah we're gonna continue on with this love is series so we'll see you at our next video peace Bye.